Good morning, dear friends. Today we are going to learn our standard 11 commas subject statistics, chapter number 9, geometric progression. Last time we have completed in section C uh, up to question number 4. Today we are going to start question number 5. 4 or GP, A equals to 2, it means first term is 2, and R equals to 2, 3, means common ratio is 3. Then find the sum of first term. We have to find out S4 means find the sum of first four terms. Okay, so here A is equal to 2, R is equal to 3, and we have to find out S4. Okay, now we know that Sn equals to here the value of R is 3, it means not equal to 1. Okay, so we have to use a formula of Sn is A bracket R is to N minus 1 upon R minus 1. Okay. Therefore, S4 is equal to first term is 2. So 2 bracket R. Common ratio is 3. 3 raised to 4. Yes or no? Because N equals to 4. Because you will find uh, the sum of first 4 terms. It means the value of N is 4 minus 1. Upon R minus 1 means 3 minus 1. Now simplify. So 2 bracket. 3 raised to 4, 3 raised to 4, 3 is a 9, 9 is a 27, 23 is a 81. So 81 minus 81 minus 1 upon 2 because 3 minus 1, 2. Now 2 cancel out. So it gives 81 minus 1, it gives 80. Okay, so S4 equal to 8. Now next question number 6. Which term of the GP 4, 12, 36 is 324? So we have to find N. Okay. Which term of GP is 324? So here Pn equals 324. Suppose we have to write N term is 324. Okay. So here first term is 4. Common is D1 by D2 upon D1. So D2 is 12. And D1 is 4, so 4 is are 12, so common ratio will be 3. Now we know that Tn equals to A into R raised to N minus 1. Tn is equal to 324, is equal to first term is 4 into 3 raised to N minus 1 will be N minus 1. Because we have to find the value of N. Okay. Here we have to write N equal to question mark. Therefore, 324 divided by 4 equal to 3 raised to n minus 1. Now we have to divide. 81 equals to 3 raised to n minus 1. Because uh, 81 4 is 324. Therefore, we can write 3 raised to 4 equals to 3 raised to n minus 1. Yes, sir, because 3 raised to 4 will be 81. Okay, already we have to here. 3 raised to 4 will be 81. Okay, so now we have to compare its power because base are same. So we can write n minus 1 equals to 4. Therefore, the value of n equal to 4 plus 1 equals to 5. Is it clear? So fifth term will be 324. Is it clear? Okay, next question number 7. 4 or JP. A equal to 4 by 9 and R equal to minus 3 by 2. Find T3. It means here first term is 4 by 9 and common ratio is minus 3 by 2 D1. And we have to find out T3. It means third term. Okay. Uh, we know that T3 is equal to A into R square. Now put the value A is 4 by 9 into R is minus 3 by 2 raised to 2. Now see, uh, 4 by 9 into 3 square, 9 by 2 square, 4. And minus square plus. So 4 from the zero, 9 and 3 So is equal to 1. So third term is 1. Okay. Next, question number 8. If common ratio of a GP is 2, it means R equals to 2. Find the ratio of its seventh and third Terms. Okay, so here R is equal to 2B1 and 
and we have to find out T7 upon T3. Okay, so T7 upon T3 is equal to the formula of T7 is A into R raised to 6 upon A into R raised to 3. So A into R raised to 2. So the formula of T3 is A R square is equal to first term we can cancel out. So we can write R raised to 4. Yes or no? Because 6 minus 2. Okay, we have to subtract power. So R raised to 4. So 2 raised to 4 and 2 raised to 4 will be 16. So ratio of 7th and 3rd term will be 16. Is it clear?